Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for April the 27th, 2020 till the 3rd of May 2020 and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're all well and safe. If you're a new viewer then please subscribe and hit the bell and hit on all and then you'll be uh, notified when new videos are uploaded or when I go live. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I give away free cards and if you want to jump the queue or if you've got a question yourself then please donate with Super Chat or Super Sticker. If you cannot do this whilst I'm live then you can always uh, do, do a donation beforehand and I'll get notified by PayPal that um, I've received money. Uh, thank you very much to all my cyber angels. Those are my uh, supporters and uh, loyal followers. If you would like to become a cyber angel new viewer, then please come into the live. We would love to meet you. We all would. We, we have discussions there. We have free cards there. We have questions there. We have a listening ear for each other. And my cyber angels are beautiful. And the moderators keep out keep the peace and keep me in line and uh, keep the uh, keep the tea room nice and cozy and lovely thank you to all my moderators come and enjoy and get to know us there's all people already are meeting up th because of the tea room outside the tea room it's lovely seeing people coming together I'm using the Archangel Metatron deck and I'm using also the Mythic Tarot deck and the Tea Leaf uh, deck. I, we also do healings there, so there's, if there's something for everybody in the tea room. First of all, Aquarius, you have the broom. New home or new attitude. You might have changed your attitude or you might have uh, refurbished your home. You might have changed to a new home or just before the lockdown. And now you have had time to clean up and brush away the old. And get really into the new way of life. So that is, means a new attitude. Uh, then you have the Queen of Swords. Well, this could be you, Aquarius, but the Queen of Swords does represent Libra. But I always say don't exclude the other air signs like uh, Aquarius and Gemini. You might feel in top notch at the moment because Aquarius is the Page of Swords and the a king of swords is Gemini so you might be meeting uh, a Libra if this is not you okay she's definitely a lady that um, uses her intelligence uh, loves learning new things so that could be your new attitude learning new things to get a different attitude a positive attitude you might be learning how to meditate or to do yoga or kalinetics or anything like that to get a different attitude because the swords also stand for learning communication wisdom so you might be meeting a Libra and getting a new friend you have Kundalini untapped energy Kundalini you might be learning what Kundalini is or being doing uh, or doing Kundalini you've got 35 so that is 8 the house of power and the house of money you like I said you are in your element if this is you then you are in your element you are learning you're most probably spiritually growing as well because the house of power is not is the house of you your Call you. You are standing in your power. Your chakras are all in line, like on the photo. Midweek, you have finger, warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. Uh, that could be a problem uh, if you are not going to learn to change your attitude. You might have to be more clearer be precise like the queen is 
the Queen of Swords does not tolerate BS or bad behavior. So perhaps it is a warning. It is a warning uh, telling you if you don't, if you're not precise, if you haven't got the knowledge, it might give you issues or problems in the future or now. Then you have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords means that you are leaving troubled water or rough water. You're going into quieter water. It means moving home. It means uh, uh, going on holiday and you might be crossing water. Again, here we've got a new attitude or a new home or perhaps you are planning to move home and that could be a warning. Make sure you know the small print in contracts. Make sure that this is the home that you want. Your castle is your home. You've got the castle here. You've got the key. You're in your strength, okay? In the house of power and money, so use it wisely. And your knowledge. You've got boundaries. Know your boundaries. Set them daily. And you've got number 14 so you might be out of balance because 14 becomes a 5. Go through this archway, I do see a new beginning for you but you have to take the key to open the door to that new beginning with stability and all, uh, all the things that you have learned. You've got the door, the door means opportunities are awaiting for you, opportunities are waiting for you and you've got temperance here and temperance also signifies a zodiac sign and that signifies Sagittarius there might be a new beginning with a Libra or a Sagittarius again balance 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 and Capricorn had this as well Balan I think that might be a prominent feature in this week's readings but we'll have to see um, what the other re uh, zodiac signs are going to get You've got white, purity and innocence. Yes, um, I'm getting a t here, I'm getting a message here, not from the card, but I'm getting a message. Um, oh, what was it now? Uh, naive, being naive, uh, purity. Children are uh, naive or can be naive. <coughs> Um, you've got number 51 so you're going to come back in uh, balance white the white light and then that is the divine light and look at the angel angels wing Metatron's wing it is strong as tough as a diamond he's got you protected purity and innocence but remember knowledge is better than no knowledge at all You'll have to get knowledge about something. Don't be naive in, naive in uh, getting what you want. Know what you want. Get the right information uh, because that could be an, an issue. Don't turn your back on knowledge. Get to know definitely what you want and how to do it legally and uh, right. <coughs> So you, if you do it right, then you know that you'll be safe. Then you have the bell. You've got an announcement coming. You've got an announcement. This could be of a wedding. Okay. This could be of a wedding. This could be getting together or making an announcement that you're moving in with a Libra or a Sagittarius or a Leo as we also have the Sun. And the sun means Leo or represents Leo. And I was talking to you about strength. Stand in your strength, the uh, eighth house. That's right at the beginning. And the strength card in tarot is also Leo. The sun card means moving house, going on holiday, uh, hearing of a birth, be it of a child or a project. You could, if you are too mature to um, have children, then you might become a grandmother or an aunt. You are in spotlight. Somebody is uh, got an eye on you, 
and you are in the spotlight something is being illuminated so you need more information with regards to the situation or question again a warning something illumination the finger also warning you of a problem either now or in the near future so to avoid problems or difficulties make sure you've got the information there might be uh, 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 you're going up next level this could be in um, a relationship in a partnership or even at work a promotion the inner child and I was talking about na being naive purity and innocence uh, you need the knowledge you need to know use your wisdom wisely you need to learn something and uh, it's definitely uh, quite uh, prominent here you have to have more information don't be naive about it open your mind like the Queen of Swords know your business clarity get clarity and honesty that is very very um, prominent here the inner child hear and know me and know your inner child don't be too serious be more playful know yourself your I take time out to know what you want and um, who you are that is definitely um, uh, also very important here untapped energy so your inner, inner child that could be your untapped energy letting your inner child not coming out and now you have to come out you've got number 36 on this card and that's an ending so there is a new beginning and the Sun is lying on top uh, on top of that card so it's showing you a new beginning that could be an announcement a new beginning with a Sagittarius a Leo a Friar signs are prominent or a Libra now the all over energy that is um, uh, uh, playing around is the full that is a leap of faith so take that leap of faith there are beautiful things coming ahead for you and not only that you have the Sun but you've got again you've got recognition you and happy times money is coming towards you that's the ten of Pentacles um, underneath and if I go even further you have the king of swords like I said don't exclude any other signs if it isn't you uh, um, Aquarius it is Libra or a Gemini because the king of uh, swords is underneath this card so there you go there's happy times happy families you might have a promotion again confirmation but take that leap of faith because this new beginning is going to be awesome everything is going to be new because uh, things are changing drastically go with the flow pedal on you've got number six number six here so you are will be back in balance okay you might feel um, out out of balance during the week but you're definitely coming back to balance endings new beginnings big time new beginnings so take the key stand in your power your chakras are in alignment and do kundalini or find out what kundalini is do kalanetics do yoga go and do something you will feel better for it and if you are buying a house or if you are moving make sure you've read the small print so predominantly is that you are might be meeting somebody new even if you're hooked up it could be a female it could be a male um, again it could be a male or female the, the cards don't say sex okay it only says the status of the person it could be um, a person that loves communication that is very wild very well read and uh, could teach you something or you might be teaching somebody else uh, it could also be a fire sign uh, because they are prominent because of the Sagittarius temperance and the Sun Leo 
so I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope you will give me the thumbs up and like this if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign or your rising sign take care my darlings and be blessed and stay safe and I'll see you in the live sessions hopefully